My girlfriend, 18F, told me that I, 19M, should off myself for liking celebrities' posts. Background. I, 19M, have been dating my girlfriend, 18F, since November 2022. Our relationship has been going exceptionally well, filled with love and understanding. Due to transportation constraints, we couldn't meet frequently until recently, but it didn't diminish the depth of our affection. We communicated daily, shared our lives on FaceTime, and made plans to spend quality time together. Our families are also supportive, and I even had the opportunity to meet her grandparents recently. Unfortunately, things took a sudden turn last Saturday. My girlfriend discovered that I had liked several posts on an account I had, including those featuring female Bollywood celebrities, none of whom are my age or anyone I know personally. I would constantly tell her that she's the only girl I find pretty, but I saved and liked the posts. I understand how this might have made her uncomfortable, and I deeply regret my actions. Since then, I have apologized profusely, expressing my remorse through letters and even creating a presentation outlining the steps I will take to ensure her comfort. I genuinely acknowledge my mistake and want to make her feel more loved and secure. Despite my efforts to make amends, my girlfriend remains unyielding. She has blocked me on all social media platforms and severed all forms of communication. Her hurtful words have left me devastated, as she has expressed anger towards me, saying she hates me, no longer loves me, and that her ex was better. She even suggested that if she were to cheat, in her own way, we could heal together by lowering herself to my supposed level. Additionally, she has reached out to her ex and made plans to attend a concert with him. She has also mentioned the possibility of kissing another person at a wedding or party to create a sense of equality and healing. I'm currently at a loss for what to do, and I find it difficult to take care of myself. I haven't been able to eat properly for the past three days, and my emotional state has significantly impacted my sleep. I wake up with puffy eyes every day, feeling lost and helpless. I would greatly appreciate any opinions, suggestions, or insights you can provide regarding this situation. How can I navigate through these challenges and hopefully find a resolution? Edit. How do I assure her when she tells me, I want to love you but I don't know if it'll be the same pure love we had. We had such a beautiful relationship. You don't love me why'd you do this to us? A little part of me will always hate you we had such a beautiful relationship and you screwed it up. I thought apt it, for one day. And I don't think I'll be able to love you the same. I told you I don't like when you lie to me. You know this is part of my boundaries I want to love you again but I don't know if I will be able to. I know I messed up. I broke her boundaries knowing them. I messed up but I told her I'll do better, I'll do everything I can to be the partner she deserves, and to have faith in our love. I won't lie to her ever again and I'll be someone she looks up to and we'll be glad we didn't give up. I wrote her a 8 page written letter read it to her and we were fine afterwards for the night then after that things started getting worse. I made her a 40 page presentation doing everything to assure her. I acknowledge what I did was wrong and I'll be the partner that deserves her love but I need to assure her when she tells me, I don't think it will be the same again, I'm desperate. Thank you all in advance for taking the time to read my story and offer your valuable advice. Your support means a lot to me. My man, this is not the girl for you, and you can be thankful for that. You have done nothing wrong. Nothing to warrant her reaction. And with her saying she wants to even things up by cheating? That's not even remotely comparable. I'm willing to bet she's already made plans to hook up with this ex of hers walk away. You'll find much better, I have no doubt. I don't think double tapping on celebrities' photos is cheating. Nor do I think it should give your supposed girlfriend an excuse to actually cheat herself. It sounds like she's looking for, reasons, to be a shitty person. That is one of the biggest overreactions I have ever seen. That girl is crazy and you should get away from her as quickly as possible. Normal women wouldn't even care if their boyfriends liked a few celebrity posts, much less go over the deep end like that. To be clear, the title say she told you to off yourself, i.e., commit suicide, but that's not in the post. Did she say that? Her reaction seems hugely out of proportion to what you reported doing. You are teenagers who have been dating for a short time, and this level of drama, her hatred, your begging for forgiveness, is too much. Take some time away from each other, see if tempers cool down. Your girlfriend sounds crazy and needs help. How does kissing someone at a wedding or party equate to liking a celebrity's posts? She must be very insecure and please if you take one thing away from my reply let it be this, don't make yourself look desperate and weak by making a presentation to appease a woman. I, 36F. 
Feel like my therapist is trying to get me to break up with my partner, 45M. My partner, 45M, and I, 36F, have been together for 11 years, married for 5. He is from North America, I am from Europe, and we live in the UK away from friends and family, since 2018. We started seeing a couple's therapist 5 years ago, who also became mine and his individual therapist. We started therapy to fix some real communication issues and toxic behaviors, and it turned out we each had some serious childhood issues to sort out, so we started going individually as well as together. We have both made real progress over the years. I have definitely become a lot more emotionally mature and he has his life more on track. The toxicity in the relationship has significantly improved, but communication remains quite difficult. It seems as though my therapist strongly feels my partner and I are not compatible. She thinks I alone have kept the show that is this relationship on the road for the past five years, while my partner has not contributed enough financially and emotionally. Her reasoning is that I have low self-esteem and that had I had higher self-esteem, I would not have been in this relationship for as long as I did, I'm doing. She says she is working on building my self-esteem, which is nice, but it feels like the only logical outcome of that work will be to break up with my partner. The thing is, I wanted to go to couples counseling in the first place because I really wanted to save this relationship. I don't know whether to trust her and break up, or whether she is the problem and I shouldn't listen and find another therapist. Every time I talk to her I think I would do the right thing by ending the relationship, but a day or two after therapy I think I should stay and fix our issues, and that I am actually the real issue. My partner tells me that he doesn't like seeing her as his therapist anymore either, because she often interrupts him while he speaks and she talks a lot, and because he does not share our therapist's view of relationships, one in which both people need to fulfill their potential outside of the relationship. He can also be angry towards her, not during the session, but after, in conversation with me, which, together with the fact that she does interrupt him quite often and does a lot of the speaking, makes me think she may not be very good at her job. There have also been little red flags on her end. For example, she talks quite openly about her own children and their relationships, she has called me out of the blue to ask me to run an errand for her when she couldn't leave her house, and has invited my husband and me over to watch a Zoom lecture on a Saturday morning. I don't know whom to trust. She is highly trained and has almost 40 years of experience. But I also heard a couple's therapist being also a couple's individual therapist is not a good idea, which together with the little red flags above, makes me think perhaps she is wrong and I would make a mistake listening to an idiosyncratic old lady and end the relationship and I will regret it. I hope I am being clear and fair in my portrayal of the situation. Is it likely that my therapist is wrong and I should find a new therapist? Too long did not read. I, 36F. Feel like my therapist is trying to get me to break up with my partner, 45M, and I am afraid of making a mistake. It is not wise for you, your partner, and the relationship to all share a therapist. You have good reason to question her judgment. Find a new therapist for yourself and suggest your partner do the same. Put the relationship counseling on hold for now. Your therapist is unethical and unprofessional. A couple's therapist should never work individually with the members of a couple she's seeing, and an individual therapist should never also treat someone who plays such a key role in her patient's life. Stop seeing her and find three new therapists. One for you, one for your partner, and one for your relationship. That doesn't mean she's automatically wrong. If you're finding that as you gain self-esteem, this relationship no longer serves you, it's well worth exploring that. With your new therapist. I thought couples therapists weren't supposed to treat the same patients individually? Bottom line you don't trust her, your husband doesn't trust her, find a new therapist. She shouldn't be both your therapists and couples therapist. You need to find your own therapist and find a different one to be your couples therapist. You need ones that aren't biased. My, 32 male, fiancé, 31 female, wants me to quit my job or break up. A few months ago we moved about two hours away because I fiancé got a job making a significant amount of money. I took me a few weeks to find a job but eventually I did and I love it. The pay is better than I ever made and the benefits are great. The downside is during the summer we go from Monday Friday to working six days a week and I'm off Wednesday for three months. She works Monday Friday. So we won't have any days off together for three months. About a week ago we started fighting about this. She was saying we can never spend time together and we can't go out on the weekends now. 
This past Saturday was the first Saturday I worked and the whole time I was at work and she was off she was texting me telling me how bored she was and starts arguing again. I got home that day and she starts yelling about how she can't do this anymore and either I need to quit or pack my bags and leave. How do I approach her about this? Edit. I got a lot of comments, more than I ever thought I'd get. So to answer some questions, after the first interview at this job I told her that the summer months I'll be working 6 days a week so it was known before I even got the job. I get done around 2.30pm every day some days I might have to stay late but the latest is around 3.30pm. I do understand where she is coming from, I do like spending the weekend with her and this schedule isn't the greatest. A lot of people are saying she's controlling and I agree in this situation she is. I was thinking that she hasn't been like this before but looking back on it there have definitely been some red flags that I just kind of ignored. I agree she needs some hobbies to occupy her time. We have been together for about 3 years and 6 months. I'll try to answer any other questions. Why would you need to quit and pack your bags? Shouldn't the threat be her packing her bags and leaving? Why wouldn't she be quitting? What would you quitting solve beyond having time because you are jobless? What are you wanting from a significant other and a relationship together? Is this it? Maybe it's time to rethink that. Her demands are batshit crazy. No one just quits a job because their girlfriend is bored. That is such an immature and ridiculous demand. I'd leave but I'd keep my new job. If her response to every single challenge in life is to quit or go scorched earth, do you really want to marry that into your life permanently? Is she 13 instead of 31? At 31 years of age your fiancé hasn't figured out how to combat boredom. You can't be her sole source of entertainment. She needs to have interests outside of her relationship with you. It's just three months of mismatched schedules, not the end of the world. She should be able to suck it up and deal. She needs hobbies and friends to spend time with when you're working. She's not wife material. Why can't you just have dates in the evening after work? It's not ideal, but it's not forever. I, 27M. Feel like I have no choice left but to leave my wife, 29F, and I'm terrified. My wife and I have been together for 12 years now. Married for three. We're high school sweethearts who had our daughter right after high school and have been together ever since. I will always love her and we do have fun together when things are good. However, she has always had a real anger problem that she has no filter on. Any small annoyance or inconvenience and the whole room knows it. Happens pretty often. It comes out through verbal berating, yelling, dirty looks putting me down, withdrawal of affection, gaslighting, and other forms of emotional manipulation. It's like blind rage and she doesn't care who she hurts or who sees it. She had a rough childhood so I try to be sympathetic and understanding of where it comes from. We have done counseling a few times before to work on it. She is also actively in counseling now. I've gotten to a point where I've just lost hope because I am just so hurt and embarrassed. My close friends and family, even friends' families, have seen it on multiple occasions and do not like her because of it. It's extremely embarrassing for me, I'm a very social person and those relationships are important. I've lost a lot of respect for myself to just keep going back to her with the promise of change that never comes. I am not perfect by any means, alcohol and blowing off steam has been a big problem for me. I will drink even harder and make dumb decisions when we fight because I'm trying to escape the pain. I want nothing more than for her to heal and be happy. I don't want to even leave her to be honest. I'm terrified, she is all I have known for nearly half of my life. Where do I go from here? Be aware that your daughter is watching all this. Are you sure this is the kind of environment you want your daughter to grow up in? A mother with hefty anger issues and a father who turns to alcohol. Reunited. You married the wrong person. You need to do what's right for your child. And this isn't it. If she's verbally abusing you and you're drinking to escape that pain, what is happening to your daughter? What do you think she is learning from all of this? Maybe your wife can heal and you guys can work it out one day but that rough childhood your wife had? Your daughter will have that too if one of her parents doesn't get it together and works on themselves. Get yourself therapy and get you and your wife some space. Maybe she will work on herself and you can work it out. Maybe not. Either way your daughter is paying for your inaction. 